Hello everyone, welcome to GS Code. Today we'll be discussing about current affairs through MCQs. And the topic of discussion is science and technology. Before we start, you can check out All India PT mock test, which will be held on 10th of May. Third test will be held on 10th of May. Let us start with the questions. First question, which of the following is are the impact of lead exposure? Right, so uh, lead pollution is one of the serious threats uh, that is posed to various industries, especially paint industry and also from the exhaust of uh, vehicles. Let us consider the statements first, irreversible damage to brain development. Right, so this is one of the important impacts of lead exposure. It leads to uh, irreversible damage to brain development. First statement is correct statement and as a result of this, cognitive abilities of children are, are compromised. Second statement, damage to kidneys and nervous system. So this is also an impact of lead exposure. Lead, lead pollution uh, can cause high blood pressure, can damage brain, can have its impact on kidney and also it has its impact on reproductive health as well. So third statement is also correct statement, right? So lead affects, uh, affects brain, kidney, reproductive health and also it leads to uh, high blood pressure. So all these are the impacts of lead exposure. Fine and that's why all these three statements regarding lead exposure are correct statements and hence answer is D, 1, 2 and 3. Right. So lead is, it is a uh, rare, rare in its metallic form and it is often found in the, uh, in the form of mineral. Lead is often found in the form of mineral right so uh, answer of this question is d2 only next question now which of the following are the objectives of national nutrition mission right so uh, national nutrition mission uh, has objective to create awareness about malnutrition amongst uh, pregnant women as well as lactating mothers and it also aims to promote healthy lactating practices and uh, one of the important focus point of uh, this national nutrition mission is to is to have uh, is to promote importance of balanced diet so first statement is to create awareness relating to malnutrition among pregnant women and lactating mothers is a correct statement regarding uh, national nutrition mission second statement to reduce the inc incidence of anemia among young children, adolescent girls and women. Right. So uh, this is also one of the objectives, one of the focus points of National Nutrition Mission. And that's why second statement is also a correct statement. Right. So uh, National Nutrition Mission uh, aims to reduce anemia amongst young children, adolescent girls and women. Right. Third statement to promote the consumption of millets, coarse cereals and unpolished rice. So this statement is not the focus of, not the objective of National Nutrition Mission, right? Though uh, millets, core cereals and unpolished rice, uh, they are considered as healthy, but it is not the focus point of this particular mission, right? Fourth statement, to promote the consumption of poultry eggs. Again, this is not the focus of National Nutrition Mission. This is not the objective of National Nutrition Mission. So only first and second statements are correct statements regarding the objective of National Nutrition Mission and that's why answer of this question is A, 1 and 2 only, right? Answer of this question is A. Next now, consider the following statements. First, WHO Framework Convention on Tobacco Control, uh, FCTC, is the first international treaty negotiated under the auspicious auspicious of the WHO, right? So uh, under the edges of WHO, yes, this particular treaty was, this particular framework was negotiated. And that's why uh, first statement is a correct statement. Uh, FCTC, that is Framework Convention on, on uh, Tobacco Control is discussed under, it is the treaty negotiated under WHO. First statement is a correct statement. Second. Tobacco use is a major risk factor for non-communicable diseases like cardiovascular diseases and diabetes, right? So this statement is a correct statement. Tobacco consumption, tobacco use has its impact on 
नॉन कम्युनिकेबल डिसीजेस इंस्टांसिस ऑफ नॉन कम्युनिकेबल डिसीजेस इंक्रीजेस बिकॉज ऑफ टोबैको यूज थर्ड स्टेटमेंट ई सिगरेट्स इन इंडिया आर रेगुलेटेड अंडर सिगरेट्स एंड अदर टोबैको प्रोडक्ट एक्ट टू थाउजेंड थ्री नो दिस स्टेटमेंट इज एन इनकरेक्ट स्टेटमेंट राइट सिगरेट्स एंड अदर टोबैको प्रोडक्ट एक्ट टू थाउजेंड थ्री इट रेगुलेट्स इट रेगुलेट्स यूज ऑफ टोबैको एंड दैट्स वाई बट वी नो दैट इन इन ई सिगरेट्स देर इज नो यूज ऑफ टोबैको एंड दैट्स वाई ई सिगरेट्स आर नॉट रेगुलेटेड अंडर दिस पर्टिकुलर एक्ट right so e cigarettes are not regulated under cigarettes and other tobacco products act 2003 right so this particular act regulates sell production distribution of cigarettes and other tobacco products in india fine so it is not related to e cigarette so that is an incorrect statement we are supposed to find out incorrect statements only so only third statement is incorrect and hence answer of this question is d3 only as we are supposed to find out incorrect statements next question now which of the following statements regarding national rare disease policy 2021 are correct right so which statements are correct regarding national rare disease policy 2021 first statement it provides for financial support of up to rupees 10 lakhs for treatment of those rare diseases that require a one time treatment right so this statement though looks correct is an incorrect statement why because for those rare diseases for which uh, one time treatment is needed grant of rupees 20 lakh will be provided right not 10 lakh 20 lakh rupees will be provided right and that's why first statement is incorrect second a national consortium for research and development for therapeutic therapeutics for rare diseases will set up under the policy right so this statement is a correct statement one of the uh, institutional initiative under the national rare disease policy is uh, to establish to set up national consortium for research and development on therapeutics for rare diseases second statement is a correct statement third public health and hospitals are notified as state subject in india right so that is uh, that is that statement is related to polity so third statement is also a correct statement so only second and third statements are correct regarding national rare disease policy 2021 and that's why answer of this question is answer of this question is uh, 2 and 3 only mentioned in option b answer is b next question now which of the following statements is are correct about herd immunity right so uh, herd immunity is a stage uh, where the uh, r not that means that, that means uh, passage of disease from one person to another person reduces right so r not is an important factor in case of identification of herd immunity first statement it is a stage of population immunity where, when all the individuals of a population are immune to an infectious disease right so this statement is an incorrect statement we consider that herd immunity uh, is achieved for a, for a particular infection when 80% of the individuals of population have have acquired immunity against that particular uh, disease it is not all it is not all it is 80% of the individuals and that's why first sta first statement is an incorrect statement regarding herd immunity second it happens only with the natural progression of disease and cannot be artificially generated through vaccines this is also an incorrect statement herd immunity can be acquired uh, through natural progression of disease as well as through vaccines right so vaccines also help us produce herd immunity so both these statements regarding herd immunity are incorrect statements and that's why answer of this question is d neither one nor two answer is d next consider the following statements first so uh, we are supposed to find out correct statements regarding avian influenza that is bird flu let us consider the statements first it is a bacterial infection that cannot that can infect not only birds but also humans and other animals 
right so this statement is an incorrect statement why it is incorrect because it is a viral infection right avian influ influenza is a, a viral infection and it not only uh, infects bird but also humans and other animals so first statement is an incorrect statement because avian influenza is a viral infection second statement now India still does not have any significant act to prevent contagious diseases in animals. Now, this statement is an incorrect statement again. Why? Because we have one act and that act is prevention, prevention and control of infectious, infectious and contagious diseases in animals in animals act 2009 so we have one act for the prevention and control of infectious diseases uh, in animals and that's why this statement which says that india does not have any significant act or law uh, is incorrect Right. So, again, both these statements are incorrect statements regarding this particular, uh, regarding avian uh, influenza and that is why answer of this question is D, neither one nor two. Next question now, which of the following statements regarding Chaper virus are correct? Right. So, Chaper virus uh, was firstly seen in Bolivia. Let us consider the statements. First statement, it belongs to the same virus family that causes Ebola virus disease, right? So, this statement is a correct statement. Chaper virus belongs to same family of Ebola virus. First statement is correct. Second, it was first discovered in Bolivia, right? So, this statement is also a correct statement. First, uh, firstly, Chaper virus was discovered in Bolivia. Third statement, human to human transmission of this virus is not possible. So, uh, this statement is an incorrect statement. Right. So, uh, Chaper virus, there is, there are instances where this virus has passed on from one person to another person, especially in healthcare setting. Right. It does pass. Human to human transmission is seen and this human to human transmission is seen especially in healthcare settings. Right. In healthcare setting, we generally see uh, this particular uh, Chaper virus getting transmitted from one human to another human. So, third statement that is why is incorrect statement. Only first two are correct and that is why answer of this question is A, 1 and 2 only. Next question. Consider the following statements regarding measles and rubella. First statement, measles and rubella are both viral diseases spreading through respiratory droplets of sick people fine so this statement is a correct statement regarding measles and rubella both are viral diseases and both spread through respiratory droplets of sick person right first statement is correct second rubella also known as german measles is more contagious and uh, more contagious and severe than measles Right, so uh, this much statement is correct. Rubella is also known as German measles. This much statement is correct, but rubella uh, is not more contagious and severe than measles. Right, it is less contagious and severe than measles because measles is more harmful, and that's why second statement becomes incorrect statement. Only first statement is correct statement, and that's why answer of this question is is a one only answer of this question is a next question now consider the following statements regarding india's legal position on organ transplantation or organ donate donation not transplantation organ donation first statement organ donation are legalized by transplantation of human organs act 1994 right so this statement is a correct statement in india organ donation has been legalized by by the act of transplantation of human organs act 1994 right so first statement is correct second uh, the transplantation of human organs act 1994 criminalizes the concept of brain dead 
right so this statement is an incorrect statement it does not criminalize it legalizes it legalizes the concept of brain dead right so what is brain dead brain dead is uh, is the stage which is irreversible and permanent cessation of brain function right in this particular stage there is irreversible and permanent cessation of brain function right and in situations of brain death a person cannot sustain uh, his own life but vital organs function and uh, those vital organs are given artificial support till the time those uh, those organs are are uh, are taken out for for the use further right so that stage where that stage where a uh, person is not able to sustain his life where brain functions have been ceased that stage is called as brain death right so second statement is incorrect statement it does not this particular act does not criminalize it legalizes the concept of brain death only first statement is correct statement and that's why answer of this question is a one only next question consider the following statements first neglected tropical diseases ntds are a diverse group of non communicable diseases incorrect statement right ntds yes it is a diverse group of communicable diseases it is uh, a group of communicable diseases not non communicable and that's why first statement is is incorrect statement second statement ntds are only caused by viruses and bacteria right again this particular statement is incorrect statement because ntds are caused by variety of pathogens which includes viruses bacteria protozoa parasites etc etc right so second statement is again incorrect statement third the world neglected the, the first world neglected tropical diseases day was celebrated on 30th of january 2020 right so this statement is a correct statement on 30th of january 2020 first world neglected tropical diseases day was celebrated so uh, we are supposed to find out correct statement only third statement is correct and that is our answer fine so that is about these questions thank you